Today I want to discuss and make people aware, if they're not aware already, of potential laws that could come into play that not only affect potentially reptile keepers, but potentially also bird keepers, mammal people, as well as fish people. So stick around, you want to hear this news. <music> My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content, getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is some very important news that I wanted to share with you guys and uh, make people aware. Um, I know a lot of you people may know what I'm already about to discuss, and that's great. I'm so happy that you guys also tuned in, too. If you could share this video all around, it would mean the world to me and a whole bunch of other keepers, too. we got to all band together as one. And that's what the theme of this video is, is we all have to be in unity. If we're not, if we're just fighting our separate battles, we're not going to win many wars. And that's just the case for a lot of things. We have to be an ally to one another. I know that we're all in this together for the love of keeping animals and inspiring other people to keep animals and uh, for conservation efforts, for uh, making people being able to keep these amazing animals. So without further ado, I didn't want to waste much time about this. I wanted to cut straight to the chase so people can get the information that they need. Like I said, share this around, everything like that, throughout a whole bunch of different groups, whether you're reptile, fish, bird, whatever you are. I've seen some people sharing it all around and uh, even sharing it to some of their local reptile and uh, fish stores or pet stores in general. And uh, it affects everyone, you know, at the end of the day, this will affect everyone. So there is something going around called the America Competes Act. Now, overall, the act is a great act and whether you're Democratic or Republican, doesn't really matter, especially for this video. This is not a pointing fingers at a certain party or anything like that. Everyone is involved with this. The act is, as a whole, something that is like over 3,000 pages with a potential of another 1,000 pages to come after senators are off recess and they kind of unite two bills together. But I'm not going to talk too in depth about the act because the act is not what we're fighting. We are actually fighting something that is paper clipped inside the act itself, which is called the Lacey Act. So the American Competes Act has already passed the House, so we really want to make sure that we're reaching out to our senators and letting them know that we do not want the Lacey Act paper clipped into the America Competes Act. We want to oppose the Lacey Act. That's what's important and that's what we need to do respectively. So keep that in mind. Now the Lacey Act, what it's basically set out to do is to protect wildlife, which sounds great, right? So the Lacey Act claims to protect wildlife and how the Lacey Act claims to protect wildlife is by banning the trafficking across borders of species that are labeled injurious. Now though the Lacey Act is made to protect wildlife, it's actually kind of doing the opposite and it's actually harming the protection of wildlife. And I'm going to explain Explain more in depth about that. So that is what is hidden inside this large massive bill and a lot of senators don't know about this. You have to think there are thousands of pages in here. No one has read that full bill and it's all about making people aware and like I said it's all about being one, being in numbers, and making noise. So calling your senators, emailing your senators, faxing your senators, a whole bunch of different things you can do. That is what is important. And what this all comes down to basically is banding together, like I said, unifying as one. So it's all about reaching out to people in Congress once they get off of this recess and emailing them, faxing them, sending mail to them, calling them, all things that are very important. And also encouraging others to do the same because like I said, it's all about unifying as one and making noise because that's how things change in our government. The government is supposed to be listening to us. So if we all band together and we make a lot of noise, that's how we get these things prevented from passing. Now another thing that will happen happen with this is it will actually create a whitelist which a whitelist will basically allow a limited amount of a certain species to be brought into the country. Now, mind you this would be probably a limited list of things that would be allowed into the country the rest being labeled injurious. So things that could be on that list are really anything. Anything's up for grabs. Like I said this pertains to reptiles, this pertains to fish, birds, mammals. Anything of that nature can be on this list and if that comes into play there are other consequences that follow. So what this basically means is this is not a ownership ban and if this basically happens this kind of goes back to the protection of wildlife thing it doesn't really go in hand in hand because honestly this goes back to in the earlier days of reptile keeping and stuff like that where there was more of a black market and for a lot of species outside of even the reptile world of things like I said this affects everyone and with an increase in black market this would only harm wild populations even more so it does not necessarily protect 
wildlife, it actually could harm wildlife even more. And we just don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we're sticking with going into keeping captive bred populations and quality care and everything like that and not allowing for animals and people to be turning into criminals and doing some shady stuff just to get these animals into the country and stuff like that because unfortunately those things do happen. Now we don't want this to happen because it not only affects animals within the country but it actually affects them too outside of the country. So these are important things we want to keep in mind for the safety and the uh, betterment of animals as well because if these things get implemented that can cause issues for those animals alone so that's something to keep in mind currently there is the overreaching government power wanting to ban the interstate travel and importation of certain species that are labeled injurious so for example say if you had a chinchilla that needed to go across state lines to go see the vet and you took that animal across state lines and that animal is labeled as injurious you would not be able to do that otherwise you would be listed as a federal criminal which just doesn't seem right right because you're just trying to do the right thing for your animal now same thing goes if you need to be relocated for your job say if you were in the army or something like that and you were stationed elsewhere if you took your animal that was listed as injurious across state lines like a burmese python anything like that you would also be listed as a criminal so you would either have to rehome that animal or something but if you did take that animal across state lines that would be an issue and that just doesn't seem right at all it seems unfair and it's just completely unjust it's a tough thing you know i mean you'd be leaving your animal behind you'd be having to rehome it or something like that and uh the consequences if you don't is jail time and fines and it's just not a cool thing whatsoever i mean it's a bummer that these things have to be fought but they do you know and we have to stick up in numbers to fight these things but that's not all that this lacy act would do so a potentially super scary thing that could happen if this passes through is fws fish and wildlife service can potentially label anything injurious overnight any species they could label injurious overnight they don't have to go through a voicing of the community or anything like that there is no ifs ands or buts about it i mean there is no talking there's no uh standing up for it or standing against it or anything like that they can la literally label it overnight so say for example if you're in tinley park and they ban your retics and you have a whole bunch of retics that you have to take home across state lines on uh sunday you wouldn't be able to all those retics you basically be stuck or you'd be traveling across state lines as a criminal. And it literally can happen overnight. So that's something that people need to be aware of is they can make something an injurious species overnight. So things to keep in mind, this does infect reptiles, birds, fish, mammals, eggs, any sort of thing like that, amphibian species as well, salamanders, anything like that. All of these guys are affected from this. So this is not just like, one of these things where you just can put it aside and just kind of worry about it. Even if you're not affected from this, this can potentially affect you down the line, you know? I mean, do you really think they're gonna stop after they work on getting these things banned that they're gonna stop just there? Of course they're not gonna stop. A lot of these groups that are set out to ban the possession of certain animals and the breeding and the propagation of these animals are set out to all allow ban pets in general, which is a huge bummer because I don't know about you guys, I became an animal lover from owning pets and I became more compassionate owning pets and really just handling animals in general for people that can't handle animals. I mean, this affects educational stuff. This affects a whole bunch of different things, you know? This is just an all out devastating thing that can harm a whole bunch of different people, their livelihoods, future generations of people, making them wildlife lovers and animal lovers and conservation efforts, all of that can get ripped right under you just from something like this. Now this may seem kind of like radical talking and speaking and some of that, and I can understand that. But at the same time, these are the things that potentially could happen. And these are things that could come into play. I mean, would you really want to take risk and just kind of hope for the best if this does pass? I don't think I want to, because if that does happen, that takes our rights away from us. And that takes a whole bunch of different things away from us. And Because I just see it as a stepping stone. If this gets taken away, who knows what happens next, you know? So this is not something to say that people are coming to take your animals away from you. This is just interstate travel. You cannot do that. So you are locked to your... Uh, state that is just what that means so this is not something where you literally have to go out abandon your pets do not do that you have to be responsible pet owners in general otherwise that's fire used against us like i said the lacy act is buried within the america competes act and once the senators come back from their recess they're going to be coming back together and they're going to be unifying two bills together like i said there's probably going to be another thousand pages coming into this bill itself so the whole bill is going to get retooled but so when you're speaking to your senators you are not opposing the american competes act you are opposing against the lacy act so that's what you have to make clear 
Now, if you are confused or concerned on how to write or speak and talking points about all this and you have concerns, I totally understand that. That may be your first time that you are reaching out to your senator or anything like that, but it's important that we do it in numbers. And if you go to usarc.org, they have it all listed out for you. They have all the senator's numbers, emails, faxes, everything like that that you could want. It's all labeled out there for you. They have talking points on what you can speak on. They have emails that are pre-made. All you have to do is really just put your name in there and uh, maybe even just write a little bit more inside there to uh, make it a little bit more tailored to you and voice some of your concerns. But that is what is important, is voicing your concerns, doing it in a respectful light too. If you're just going at these senators, yelling and cursing and everything like that, one, they're gonna think you're crazy. They're gonna think all of us are crazy. But you have to know too that senators don't understand us. They know, they, I mean, this is something that they don't know about the Lacey Act. For the most part, they don't know that the Lacey Act is inside there. So we need to make our voices heard and let them know in numbers that hey, this is a red flag, we don't want this because the government is supposed to listen to us. That's how it works here. So we need to make sure our voices are heard in numbers and respectfully to our senators, let them know that we are opposing the Lacey Act in here. And I've heard from a lot of people that a lot of senators are actually opposed to the Lacey Act, which is a win. And that's just all from a lot of people voicing their concerns, speaking up. And this isn't something that's going to be a one and done either. We want to win this, but there's going to be more things happening down the pipe. And that's kind of where I think the numbers game is really important. Now, what am I meaning exactly by the numbers game? So something to also get involved with is usarc.org. Like I said, if you join their membership, it's super, super easy to join. It's super quick. It takes you two minutes to do, to sign up. Make it super easy for you guys. So there's literally a monthly membership. There's a student student membership, there's a bronze, platinum, and a gold membership as well too. So there's a whole bunch of different memberships that you can choose from, but the important thing is becoming a member. And the reason being for that is it's all a numbers thing. So when Phil Goss, the president of USR, if he goes up to senators and he says we have X amount of members and it's a low number, I mean, that's very laughable and compared to some of these other groups. So it's always good to have our numbers higher just so people know to take us serious because if it's just something that's like, say, tens of thousands of people, I mean, that's pretty laughable, right? But if you have hundreds of thousands of people, that is something that's huge. So it's always important to keep that in mind. Something that maybe I haven't heard too many people discussing, but it's really important to kind of think about those things as well. So being a member is very important. Donating is very important. Getting the word out there is very important. So spreading this information, spreading this video, spreading any documentation or sharing anything from USR to different pages, groups, everything like that, that's getting eyeballs out there. And that makes people more aware, that gets more membership for USARC, that gets more people reaching out to their senators and making people know that we oppose the Lacey Act in the America Competes Act. So like I said, currently senators are on a recess and I know a lot of people have been posting videos throughout this. I'm posting my video a little bit later just to kind of keep the trend going of people reaching out being into this and everything like that because we kind of know how trends kind of go where they'll get high really quick and then they'll dip down and people will kind of totally forget about something. It's just human nature, unfortunately. But I want to make sure that I'm keeping this train rolling with everyone and everyone's reaching out to their senators because like I said, we all have to unify as one. Otherwise, you can't really win much if you're not all together. So that is something that's very important. Now you still may be wondering why should I be worrying about this? Like I said, I keep fish, I keep all this other stuff. Why does this matter? Well, fish people, this is probably gonna hurt you the most because any of your fish species can literally be labeled injurious and banned uh, right flat right there. So you wouldn't be able to do any sort of interstate travel with those guys whatsoever. And that can be just an overnight thing. And that's really for any animal that isn't a dog, cat, or any normal common livestock that will be able to cross state lines. Everything else pretty much, besides inverts I believe, are basically under fire right now. And that's pretty scary, you know? I mean, you literally could be a criminal if you have to cross state lines to take your chinchilla to the vet. You know, that's kind of ridiculous. So that's what we wanna do. We don't wanna make people criminals. It may sound discouraging, but it's really not. If we really stand together and we really do all those things, like I said, go to USARC, become a member, donate if you can, um, if not, I mean, just getting the word out is very important. Reaching out to your senators, everything is free with that. Voicing your concerns, that just takes a little bit of time and that's nothing. If you can reach out, give a phone call, give an email, anything like that, all to just keep this going and keep traction on that, 
that is what is important. And like I said, from a protection of wildlife standpoint, I think this is more something that's going to cause concerns and create more of a black market than it would do good. We have a whole bunch of nice captive animals that we want to keep making sure that we have colonies for coming through these states. Now, another thing too that comes through this is breeding and everything like that, you know? I mean, some of these animals that we work with are something that are labeled as endangered animals, threatened animals, anything like that with breeding stocks all throughout the country. If you're stuck to your one state, I mean, your gene pool is limited. Basically what will happen is if you're not able to keep continuing breeding that animal and stuff like that, I mean, once those animals clock out, I mean, that's less and less of a species that we could have kept going and thriving and working with to raise those numbers and increase those numbers for conservation efforts and stuff like that. Whether you heard it or not, I mean, these are all things that are happening all throughout the country in efforts to help protect wildlife. And if we're taking away those actions of taking things across state lines, I mean, that's just something that's going to be tough. I mean, this affects not only us, this affects zoos, pet stores, everyone. All down the chain of command, this affects everyone. So supply companies too. This is something that could completely be detrimental and really hurt the pet trade. So definitely keep those things in mind. Like venom keepers, if you're sending a species or a venom to a lab, I mean, this affects you as well. Normally Eddie's just kind of moving around in my hands, but right now he's just more so intently listening because he doesn't want these things to happen. You know, I mean, these are really concerning things. And for say, if I had to take Eddie out of state and moved or anything like that, I would become a criminal and I would have to rehome Eddie so I, that wouldn't happen and be a responsible owner. And it just sucks, you know, if those kind of things happen. I mean, I love Eddie. I love all my animals. If one of those things did happen to me, that's just something that would really kill me. So again, what can we do? We want to oppose the Lacey Act respectfully. Reach out to your senators. Go to usarc.org. They have it all on the front page for you. So I will leave links down below to USARC. Definitely check them out. They have some cool shirts too that you get with the membership. So definitely check them out. If you go to reptile shows, there's normally a booth there too. Get some information there and reach out to people. I mean, there are people out there, I guarantee you, that have more beyond a dog or a cat. You know, I mean, this is something that affects a lot, a lot of people. So we want to get as many people on board. Number game is what is important here. We all want to stand together. We are all in this together. So without further ado, that is going to be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for listening to me rant about this and uh, hopefully this was some beneficial information for you guys to take and pass along. I really hope it is. This is all that I'm trying to do is trying to keep this train rolling and keep this trend of flowing for people so everyone can be aware, not only just the reptile people. So share this video around, share a lot of the videos from the past videos that people have made around too. We all need to get this information out there and I know a lot of people have told it better than me, but we really need to get this information out there. That's the important thing. So that's what I wanted to do. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you could do me a couple favors, if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. If we like this video, more that's how we get this video trending so definitely like this video and if you could also turn on post notifications i would greatly appreciate it and below i will not only leave links for my social media i will also leave links for social media and websites for usarc.org so you guys can check them out and read up and get all the information that you guys need so a couple clicks and you're there so definitely check those guys out as well it would mean the world to me and all of us as pet keepers in general that's what we are all about is standing as one so thank you guys again for watching eddie and i are signing off and until next time we will see you guys soon.